Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Angelique Lazardi. John Overall live tonight from Ventana Canyon where the Bighorn Fire is in full view. John, what is the latest out there? Well, Angelique, you said if you look out your window, you might see the fire burning. If you open up your window, you'll definitely smell the smell of smoke in the air. I can tell you right now, the uh, Bighorn Fire has now burned over 58,000 acres. That number sure to grow by tomorrow morning when they reassess that number. Also good news, we're now at 33% containment, up from 16% containment earlier today. And nearly 1,000 firefighters are now up in the mountains now fighting this blaze, as you can see up on the top of the ridge there. The primary areas that fire officials are focus on, focusing on right now, Summer Haven up on Mount Lemon and in a large unburned area north of Catalina State Park up to Oracle. Let's now take a look at the current evacuation notices. In the go stage, which means you need to evacuate, Mount Bigelow and Lower Soldier HOA, the community of Summer Haven and Willow Canyon. Pepper Sauce Canyon to High Jinx Road and Campo Benito have been downgraded to the set stage, and that means residents can return home. Also in that stage, the community of Oracle, portions of East Golder Ranch, Catalina Foothills between Alvernon Way and Sabino Canyon Road, north of Skyline Drive. In the ready stage right now, the Oro Valley area from Catalina State Park south to McGee Road and the Tucson Foothills area from First Avenue to Alvernon Way, north of Skyline. Now, the Coronado National Forest has a few closures. They include Sabino and Bear Canyons. Catalina State Park is also closed right now. Let's bring in David Kelly from News 4 Tucson. And David, there's a viral video out there right now showing how fast those flames are moving through the Summer Haven area near the fire district. Give us some play-by-play -play on what was actually happening up yeah, there. Yeah, John, this video was from last week, and what I wanted to kind of get an idea of from this video and get a sense of was what was happening for those firefighters up on Mount Lemon in that moment. That was a red flag day. A red flag day? That doesn't sound good to begin with, but Daniel Pearson of Southwest Incident Management says it was a warning firefighters had been given 48 hours in advance. What does a red flag day mean? Sustained high winds, very dry relative humidity, and very high fire danger. A perfect recipe, you might say, for the part of the Bighorn Fire sitting here in Romero Canyon. Those high sustained winds pushing the blaze up from the southwest. The winds were around uh, 20 to 25, gusting to 45 at the ridge tops. So that wind is what really drove the fire. Yeah, and even though this is a time elapsed video, driving it? might have been a slight understatement. And once it got up toward Mount Lemon, it got into higher elevation up near the saddle, hit timber fuels and started torching some of the timber fuels. How bad was that situation? I mean, it looks, I mean, people watching that film, they think, oh my God, you know, that, that looks horrible. If you're talking from a vegetative standpoint for severity, uh, ponderosa pine trees are fantastically resilient to fire, they're fire adapted. You can lose 90% of the crown of a ponderosa pine tree, and it still has over a 50% chance of survival. Daniel Pearson departed his work on this fire when the Southwest Incident Management team transitioned out Monday night. He said he was pleased with the team's work because they protected Summer Haven, they protected the observatory, they lost no infrastructure or power lines. We've got you covered. I'm David Kelly, News 4, Tucson.